Righto, we're here at the start of the uh, Kokoda trick, uh, day one. Uh, under no illusions, it's going to be a big challenge, but something uh, very much looking forward to. I think it's going to be one of the more memorable things I've done. I'm pretty excited, maybe reticent, not sure what I'm in for. It'll be tough, but that's why we're doing it, to experience what the people who came before us that gave us the great life that we live today sacrificed themselves, their endeavours for us. I tell you what, I'd recommend anyone if they want to get a grip on their inner self, have a crack at it. Great bit of timing, the Australian Air Force or Navy or Army sent one of their helicopters uh, to welcome us. It's going to land right here. Puts it all in a little perspective. 1942, wouldn't it have been great to have the Army have one of these things just wander over and have a look at proceedings. Bob or Giga or mate? As you look down at the face you knew so well and the look in his eyes says it's late. You remember your first handshake on a troop train going to war, training in various military camps, Walgrove, Greta, Ingleburn, Bathurst and more. To have tired muscles to go hungry, thirst. And the pub, the Duke of York, where we had our last beers before leaving Australia's fair shores. Digging in. Yeah, Even right. being here, you can't comprehend how difficult that is. You cannot get your head around that. Just having done that, you can't imagine what it. Put yourself in that same situation. You can't. I don't care what anyone says. You get an idea of the conditions, but I can't imagine. Just, uh, just the relentless sort of uh, plodding. We only think back, mate. That's. Just think about what happened before it. We've got it easy. Yet we knew a mother would watch and wait for a letter sent from her boy. How she would dream of things that he did. How his first words caused her joy. Perhaps she will know in some unknown way of the little rugged cross. The remains of her hero under it lay where the trees are draped with moss. We curse the heathen who stripped the dead. No pity on them can be shown. We marked the cross so it can be read. WX, unknown. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them, lest we forget. I know I've said this, while you're doing it, you whinge and you think, why would I be doing this? We've done it to understand just how tough it was all those years ago. And I know that is a recurring theme that we keep saying, but when you look at some of the territory we cover today, it's frightening. People will say when we go home and they'll talk to you, what do you hope to achieve out of it or what, what's the message you're, going to, um, you're trying to convey and I guess Historically, it's great to do it because, it, as we've spoken about, it gives you a great appreciation for what we've been through. But also, I think it is an opportunity to, to leave a legacy for all the people who walk the track, and that is to give them something back. And the Kokoda Trek Foundation is involved in that. So I think, from a legacy point of view, it's really important. And we were asked if we'd be interested in doing this because we had some sort of recognition in the community, whether that be uh, um, a lot or little. But 
and we thought it would be a great thing that if we could actually, through the mediums that we uh, move in, uh, that we could actually encourage people to do this because the Kokoda Track Foundation um, benefits by people coming up here. Everyone who sacrificed in this country of Papua New Guinea benefits by people coming and experiencing, experiencing a part of history and we were delighted to be part of it.